Hello and welcome to another episode of Between the Studs. This is Mark and Angie and we are doing another Rare Parts video My because favorite. last time we had a great time doing it and there's so many parts that we have not covered. Mm -hmm. We'll cover today but we are barely going to scratch the surface once again. So we'll probably do more of these in the future too, but today Absolutely. we've got a bunch of cool pieces. And you picked out pretty much all of these, right? Yes, as I, the well, last time we had it, it was a two, we had a two episode last time because mm -hmm. there were so many. So this time I tried not to have quite as many, but every time I find something that I go, that looks like a weird color, or I haven't seen that part before, I'll put it aside and then I look it up and then this is what I've come up with for today. But I, I need to point out, the last couple of times we've done it, the parts have been super expensive and rare. Mm -hmm. Today's parts, except for a few, yeah. are actually very cheap to buy. Yeah. But they only came in a few sets and they're hard to come by. So maybe people don't even really know about them, that's why they haven't... Right, and a lot of them came from super old sets, so I feel like the people that are selling the parts maybe, you know, they, they don't, don't even know. even know what they have. Yeah, or, wow. Or there's no call for these old set parts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's um, no demand for it yet, right? right? So. And for us, for just so you guys know, for us to have it, when we call it a rare part, it has to be rare because we have everything. Yeah, we Honestly, see everything Lego. We do. So if we see something that's like, that's weird, it is really weird. It is. And Mark and I get a great joy of discovering new things that we don't know. Oh, yeah. It's always a highlight. It's like, we'll actually walk up and be like, look, yes. Chris, look, Joe, I've never yes. seen this color before. Yes. You know? Oh, last, can we tell them what we saw yesterday, what you saw and oogled, uh, ogled over? Was, oh two by four plates in a certain color exactly yes we got some rare pieces traded to us and it was a two by four plate in metallic silver i'll actually throw up a picture for you we got a handful yes. of them in the store now and what was that other like flesh colored or yep something? flesh i think it was two by fours or two by threes one, but we got some violet weird ones. blue in, or violet in mm -hmm. one by fours and then very light gray bricks in two by ten or something. yep exactly. these were amazing y'all so we didn't put them on here because you know but well, maybe next time. Maybe next yeah, time. Yeah, well, you'll definitely see those at some point, maybe even for sale in our Bricklink store. So. Right, I think yeah. that's where they're going to be. Yeah. So Okay, so to start out, I thought I'd start with one. I'm going to test you on this one to see. Oh, mm. Every once in a while, people, we have to test Mark because he is the ultimate Lego master. We'll see mm. if he knows what this is and what it oh, came on. Oh, my goodness, that is a weird wedge piece. Yes, it came on a, it only came in two sets in light bluish gray. Light bluish gray? Yes, okay. not light gray. This is not light gray, which I thought with an old set like this, you would piece you would think but it is like bluish gray mm -hmm. any any ideas let me have a look at it, this here so this is definitely newer because you can see it's got those little lines in the side which mm -hmm. allows the studs to poke through and not uh interrupt the building process mm -hmm. it is a two excuse me an eight by twelve uh light blue gray wedge plate did this i wanted to say adventurers no they so use light like gray in that, like, right? Oh, yeah, that would have been light like gray. So this yeah. is a little bit after that. Hmm. Yeah, the dates are uh, 2008. 2008. This one has 2002, so that's maybe that's when the mold came out. But oh, it, it probably, okay. if if this mold was still in use, it, it was, could have been in light gray instead. It, in, was in later. it did not come in light gray. It came in black. Yeah. Oh, it came in black. Wow. That's why. And those are older. So, mm -hmm. yeah, 2002 is probably the black. Gotcha. So this is the, that's when the mold was created. Yes. I, I, I have no idea. Two sets. One was a Star Wars. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm not gonna know the Star Wars ones. But. Star Wars is a bit much. Yeah. Uh, UCS, the Tie Fighter Advanced or Tie Advanced. Oh, okay. Okay. 2006, yep. and then it came from a Deep Sea Quest Agent set in 2008. I love those sets. Yeah, those are. Mm -hmm. oh, that so. It, this would have been almost like the bottom of a boat, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, like a, a the, the, the deck of a boat. Yeah. And then the other one, I. I don't know what that would Somewhere be on Somewhere in the TIE Fighter, probably on the cockpit area because it's cool mm -hmm. shape. That is interesting. Yes, and this ranges anywhere on BrickLink from $20 mm -hmm. to $50. Correct. That's a lot for a wedge plate. Normally they're like a quarter, maybe yes. 50 cents, so that's a yes. very in expensive In black, piece. you can get it pretty cheap. Okay. But the light blue gray, no, you cannot. And here's the thing. The black uh, came in only one set. Really? But you can get it for 75 cents to a dollar. Yeah, so that's like a more normal price for that size of piece. Right, but, but in light blue gray, it came in two sets, more than the black, and mm -hmm. yet it's that much money. It's probably the Star Wars UCS one. People are trying to rebuild it, and it's just... So they know that this is They the have one. to have that piece because it's yeah. weird, yep. In fact, our, a shout out to our friend Tracy, who does all of our inventorying at Star Wars. 
she's getting this piece because one day she will need it. Yep. And I'm afraid I'll lose it, so it's going to her house. It's also her favorite color, light bluish gray. Is. So yes. Oh yes, that's her color. Exactly. Absolutely. I never would have guessed that's twenty to fifty dollars right? though. That's insane. Right. Okay. Next one. Metallic gold. We last time we did clear and trans pink. Today yep. is metallic gold. This is not pearl gold. It's actually got a little sheen to it. One set only. Hmm. I'm going to say it was Indiana Jones. Correct. Yes. Very good. Indiana Jones, the race for the stolen treasure. It is anywhere from 89 cents to $25 for one. Really? So like the condition probably plays a huge part yes. of the value of that piece, right? Correct. Because I looked up the 89 cent one and it said that the gold was chipping. Mm, yeah. And and because they're saying the gold's chipping because it's basically like spray painted on there. It's like an extra coating. I wondered of, about that. Okay. Yeah. Because nowadays they have the pearl gold and the Correct. plastic is gold. Okay. This is, I think it's, it's applied a, afterwards as a specialty thing. I wondered so. about that. Okay, I did not know that. I didn't yeah. know they did that. Okay. So it, it's kind of like a prototype in a way because the, the modern gold chests are very durable. Right. This one's not, in. and it only came in one set. So. Right. Yeah, so exactly. So um, anywhere, in 2008, I think is what it was. Mm -hmm. Unless that, now the treasure chest in general was way sooner than that. But yeah. this color was only 2008. It's an old design, but uh, this one came out in 2008. Correct. So, Keeping with cool. the gold idea, we have this little okay. guy. Our gold trophy. This is what you're talking about with the pearl gold. Yes, this is the the plastic itself is gold. There's no um, layer on the outside creating that gold appearance. Right, and it's only in four sets from 2017 to 2019. So it was a lot newer than I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. uh, ranges in price from anywhere. And now this is ridiculous. I don't know who this human is. I, if they're watching, I'm sorry to, but it goes from 25 cents, and someone has this exact thing for 74 dollars on Brickless. I looked on that, I clicked it to see, like, does it come with money? Is it signed by yeah, somebody? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it's just $74 for the same thing that you could get. And the 25 cent one didn't say anything about being messed up or dented or anything. I don't understand that. That. So there's a clear buying advantage from one store to the other. Wow. Yes, but why? Now, yeah. I always see these in gray and silver, but I actually don't think I've really seen a gold one. So this is kind of hard to find. It is, and I we had two. We needed one for set, mm -hmm. which was a friend set, by the way. It was their race day. The girls get the gold. Uh, and then, then we have this one here. Mm -hmm. It came in a, a junior car set. Okay. Like, obviously, the trophy. Yeah. Uh, it came in a Marvel Ant-Man Wasp set called Quantum Realm. Gotcha. So they would have been, like, in smaller locations. So this would have been, like, a toy or something, something they were like running that. around. Yep. Yep. And then the last one, which I needed to ask you about, it said it was it was a, a full Bricklink set called Hot Shark Carnival. So it's not a Lego set. It was on Bricklink. It, what is that? That must have been, um, it, with the AFL sets, they would have been something that was either designed or something that was given out. So um, By Lego? If it's or a Bricklink, Bricklink set, then it's probably yeah, designed Bricklink. for Bricklink. Or if they're just listing as that, it must have been something that was given out at a store on a certain day. Okay. Cause so it's pretty rare. It's like a carnival, like a shoot 'em up gallery. Yeah, I think listener. that was designed for Bricklink. I would okay. have to look at the picture to be sure, but I'm pretty okay, sure that so was a Bricklink, Bricklink exclusive. Yeah. Okay, so I didn't realize that that was sets that they included. That was pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Yeah, mm -hmm. I thought so. All right, moving on. Oh, and we'll put that We're going to kind of stay with the, not, not really metallics, but these are more specialized colors. We've got this in pearl light gray. That's pretty I'm cool. I'm excited to see if you know where this came from, because this is, I was shocked when I saw this, because I've been doing the accessories at the store, and I saw this, I was like, I've never seen a pearl light gray in this. It has to be rare. When I looked at that, my mouth fell, because I was like, what? So I know that this one came in some sets from, I want to say, the Only one set. early 2000s. Let me see. Early 2000s. Early 2000s. Is this the Island Extreme Stunts sets? No stunts. No, no stunts. Um, you, I, hmm. I will be so shocked if you get this. I it's shocked. not Belleville. No. 2006. 2006. I don't Long know. Long Sir Ford. It came in, and you're going to have to flash the picture of this set. Okay. Because this came in a Bionicle set called Lava Chamber Gate. It's like a buildable castle thing. Mm -hmm. you a know little Bionicle about? action figure, minifig scale yes. scene, right? That's yes. awesome. I didn't know Bionicle did that. When they I saw it, I was like, what? A handful of those sets, they weren't like amazingly popular. People like the big action figure Bionicles. Yes, that's so, all I've ever thought of. This is really thing. interesting to be combined with that sets, but I could totally see them. You can, they could snap them on really easy. They mm -hmm. got the little 
place for the legs, so that's that makes Either sense. Either that, or I don't remember. Maybe I'm remembering wrong. I thought it was maybe a de decoration thing on the side of the building. It might have been. Yep. I don't remember. All I know is pearl light gray. That we'll was look at the picture in a second here. Yes, you can we'll see show, it right we'll now. Show you the picture. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, in keeping with the pearl light gray, mm. this is just a regular connector. Oops, oh. sorry, connector. And I know again a shout out to Tracy because it does come in a Star Wars set Ooh. in pearl light gray. Uh, only three sets, I think. It was a Technic Star Wars set called mm -hmm. Hail Fire Droid. Ah, okay. The one with the giant wheels, yes. right? Yep. Yes. And there were several of those in there. And when mm -hmm. I saw that, because those are hard to come by, I was like, I know this is rare. I forget I forget which set, but I knew it was because Tracy was looking for them one time and we had to order them. Yeah. So I found one. And it's a very light pearl silver color. This this mm -hmm. Technic piece is not super rare in other no, colors, but in this particular color, it's super rare because it came in that set. Right. But so. again, it's cheap. Six cents to $2 each. Yep. And that might be because there were several of them, right? So if you yes. lost one, another set would have many extras if you parted it out. So Right. Yes. Yeah, they so, were available. Right. So. And then another set called Sp Spybotics. I don't know. Yes. Either. Spybotics. I've Those were cool. It's like a Mindstorms uh, alternate reality branch off thing. So okay. It was like a, a little, um, basically a remote control vehicle that did stuff. Okay. So they, that's cool. And they all had that very, very bright pearl silver color. So. Yeah. And I guess they're not making it anymore because it's only from 2002 to 2005. So. Yeah. I think fl they've gone with flat silver in most of the more modern pieces. That's what it so. looks like. Yeah. Yes. All right, here's what's shout out to your old stuff here. Ooh. Do you recognize that? When Joe saw it, he's like, that's not Lego. I'm like, it is Lego. And it, it is printed. That is not a sticker. A one by six transparent red brick with the fork, knife, and cup. Coffee Water. or tea Cuppy. cup there. Right. Yep. That is a cool one piece. One set only. One set only. It's an only. old town set. It, you know what it is? It's not even a set in itself. It's just a bunch of extras. It's from a four and a half volt set called Lighting Bricks. And so there's that. Oh. There's a blue one that's got a police written on it. There's a yellow one with something written on it from 1986. So these would have been, you put them over the little lights. Yes, that Hit came the in the other sets, in the town sets. And light them up so you could light up the sign. Yeah. So so, that's pretty cool. Right. The the voltage and all is on there, and you can light them all up and create your own within the town, mm -hmm. whatever you want it to be. But again, 30 cents to a dollar for that, which so, is weird. Not too expensive, but very, very unusual. I love that transparent look. I mean, you could even use nice. the non-printed side for anything else. So. I knew you were going to say that. I expected you to say that for our stained glass window. Mox. You might need to buy it. You gotta, gotta yeah, be yeah, for yeah, bills. Yeah. Yes, yes, exactly. All right, let's see what else. Oh, you mentioned this the other day, and I grabbed it because honestly, I didn't know it was gonna be. Mm -hmm. I didn't know it was going to be rare. It only came in two sets, and it's actually a newer part. It is. Wow. I, I was kind of. I was kind of shocked that it was. It's from 2021 and 2022 only. The clear color. Yeah. Wow, that's only interesting. Only two sets in that. That's called an engine, actually, an yes. engine cylinder, mm -hmm. a Technic engine cylinder. Yes. It's hard to see, I'm sure, on the screen. Yeah, you can barely see it. Yes. But we'll get a picture of it. It comes but... from the BMW motorcycle mm -hmm. that they did recently. Yep. And then also the the Batman Batmobile. Oh, so the newer ones. Well, yep. that's what I thought, but it's 2021. Isn't that new Batman movie coming out called The Batman? Yes, that's, so that's the new what Batman I thought, movie. Yep. But this is 2021, so I yep. don't know. So it's these are coming out late lately, but it's an old piece, right? Correct. So Because I remember seeing piece. these in light gray, too. Yes, light gray for sure. And you could have the cylinder going up and down. I know the Bugatti has probably light gray ones. Yes. So, or light blue gray, I should say. Light blue gray. Um, to make the distinction. But yeah, so that's really cool, the, the transparent color. Yeah, one to three dollars each. Mm-hmm. I found two in a bin. So not super expensive, but really unique. I mean, you could see those as like springs for a sci-fi vehicle or something like that. You know like what that. else I see when I look at these parts is someone's spinal cord. <laughs> no, <laughs> right? Pretty, no, pretty like the bones in like, their back. You know, that you're right. That does look very anatomical <laughs> now that you mentioned it. So, yeah. I don't know. You're the master builder. I figure. That would actually work if you made a, if you a, made clear, a clear skeleton. skeleton. Yep. Wouldn't that be cool? Like a kingdom of the crystal skull type Something. thing. Yep. Yeah. I don't that's know. That's, that's the next build for you. That might be. Trying to use that. That would make a very hard seed part for yes. a seed part challenge. Yes. Yes. Now I've got some ideas to torture my friends. Right. So. Right. Right. Okay. Another trans. Ooh. And I know you know, so you tell everybody. Yes. So this, I believe, was from the Space Police sets, just based on the color alone. Yes. Space Police what? Space Police 2. Correct. Because Space Police 1 had red, white, and black. Yes. Space Police 2 had red, black, white, and green. Transparent Trans green. Transparent green, so, yes. Yeah. 
and some normal green pieces here and there. But. Yeah, it's a facet three by three by two top, which isn't like the top of an egg or top of a. Yeah, I don't a, know what they use. It's like a quarter dome piece almost. Yeah. And they, I think the newer version of this piece is all rounded, but this one has a very angular look to it. So. Yeah, I love that. Does it come in any other colors? I forgot to look. I think it does. I think I've seen it in blue, and I know I have a white one. Oh, okay. So I, yeah. I used a white one in a mock not too long ago. Okay, yeah. And a trans green, it costs anywhere from 31 cents to $7 a piece. Mm -hmm. Uh, from 1992. So like nice condition ones can run a little bit more expensive. Right, yeah. exactly. And it only came in the three sets that were space policed. Yep. So rare for sure. For but sure. Um, maybe people haven't discovered its potential yet. So yes. Very cool. That'll make the price go up. After today, they're going to yeah. be, they're going to, everyone's going to buy this for the skeleton. Exactly. And this for whatever, the potential that Mark the Master, mm -hmm. the Lego Master said. All right, another clear thing. Oh, yes. The wing piece from, I wanted to say it was Bionicle, but is it Hero Factory, in fact, or is it Bionicle? I think it's Bionicle. Oh, Do we right. have the Did listing on I have the names. Thornrax and Grass? Oh, based Thornrax? on those years, that would be Bionicle for sure. Okay, that's what I was So, wondering. very yeah. cool. A wing piece. It was a wing from uh, 2008 and 2012. Mm -hmm. $2 to $9 for one. So, that's pretty expensive. Yeah. $2 is pretty expensive, even for a large piece like this. Right, and even the set itself had way more than just one. It was like they would have like multiple wings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there would be like two to four wings on uh -huh. an action figure, right? So. Right, a big one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I thought it was interesting. And what I like about this piece is it's got that really weird uh, yes. pattern. Almost looks like, you know how like the... Uh, and stuff. Almost like an insect's eyes are, have all those little mm -hmm. spots in it. So it, it looks like that inside this wing. So it's yes. very unusual. Yes. It's I, really cool. I thought it was neat. Even though it's not that expensive. I mean, it is, but it's not. Two to nine dollars each. And mm -hmm. I, I just... I don't know. You never see it. Never. I, mean, you, I think I know. I've seen that's this once I, before. So, right. Yeah. That's why I did it. Because I was like, I've not seen that before. And I wanted to share with the world. That is really cool. Bionicle had a lot of unusual pieces and colors for its time. So they really, awesome. really did. Are, is there a rumor that they're bringing it back? I hope that they would. At the same time, all the pieces that they made for it aren't really in that much circulation. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. They could easily just decide, well, we're bringing it back. Or they yeah. could say, it's too expensive. We're not going to do it. Yeah. Based or on Lego. they'll make all new, brand new pieces. I think Lego what? will just keep teasing us to try and keep our hopes up, but then never actually do it. That's like what I expect. Like castle, like castle. Exactly, like, a, like the grumpy castle fan that I am. Yes, we He'll know. never really come out with if it again. If you follow Mark for any length of time, you know that he's a grumpy castle person. But Very much so. That's okay. you, know. you can be. I understand it. Yeah. You know. All right, we're moving on to bluer and brighter things. Um, Ooh. This color, this piece is very, you know. It's tile. a mundane. It's a tile modified piece mm -hmm. with a candle on top. Uh, I think the, the one that it comes in the fewest is with flat silver, and that comes in a, a friend set and one other, I forget the, the name of this other set, but, mm -hmm. uh, but I found it in medium azure, and I thought to myself, self, that seems like I haven't seen that in a long time. It looks like a weird color, right? So. Right. It's in all friend sets, but then there's one that it's, that it's not a friend set. Hmm. Can you think of what the non-friend set would be in medium azure? And I will give you a hint that it is... Is it creator or classic? No, it's related to a video game. Ooh, Dimensions. Mm hmm Yes. So... Is you... it the Mystery Machine? Yes. Yes, the there we the go. Yeah, you got it. I'm very proud of you. Yeah, it came in all of that anywhere from three cents to two dollars each. Okay. So you needed two in the Scooby-Doo set, and then the other friend sets, I think there's like three or four friend sets that it came in in that color, and mm -hmm. those are all, it's old, you can't get it anymore. Yeah, so just hard to find. Correct. Um, not super rare, but, but you just, you're not going to see them that often. So. Right, you haven't seen it since 2018, that's the last time it came out. Right, so they're not producing it anymore either. It looks so. like it, yeah. yeah. So again, it was just something that I thought was unique. Who, you may not care about it. I like the notoriety of it being related to the mystery machine, and that's part of the mini build. For yes. It, so that's pretty I, fun. Right, exactly. All right, I've got more blue. Okay. Look at this. Look at this beauty that I found. That's a very unusual color there. That's that is cool. not bright light blue. Most people out there might be thinking that it mm. is. It is not. Can you guess the color of this? It is not bright light blue. In fact, I would I say periwinkle, but that's this. not a thing. This is bright light blue, and this is the other one. This is bright light blue. This is something different. I have no idea what even that is called. It's called light blue. Just light blue? Yes. And That's... it came in two sets only. Only two sets. It's still cheap. 50 cents to $2 for that. So if you could get those in bulk, 
be a pretty thing to build. That'd be amazing. It's it's a pretty it would color. blow some minds just by the weird color. Oh, right, exactly. Yeah, it's uh, well, you do you want to guess? I don't know. It's something from the early 2000s, right? Uh, yes, 2002 and 2003. Maybe Belleville. Belleville is one of them. Ding ding ding. Yes. Laura's bubbling bath. Okay, so it would have been a bathroom <laughs> wall or something yes, like that. exactly. Yeah, so. And then it just came in a basic creator set with a bunch of bricks. A creator set, too? That is really unusual. Yeah, just, you know, how they give you all the bolt brick? It yeah. came in that. Yeah, because they sold uh, sand red like that at one point. Oh, did they? Yeah, so, and I, I, I'm kicking myself every day for the past how many years Do because I it didn't buy Yeah, exactly. Because now it's worth many dollars per piece, and you think you could get uh, 200 in a $5 pack, so. Wow. People That's were crazy. investing and so the back question then. remains, though, is. They didn't really make a lot in this color. No. At all. I've never really even seen that color right. to my knowledge. And, so. and then they stopped. So. What gives it like that? Yeah, come on. That? Bring these colors back. You right. brought back teal. Let's, I think let's they, keep going. I think they brought it back in, in the in the bright light blue. Yeah, so like medium blue or bright light blue. Something yeah. like that. Yeah, I don't understand it. Honestly, this is a door frame that came from the detective's office. Oh, okay. So I was Three about to say. Three of those came in a detective's office. And that's pretty much it. Uh, well, I shouldn't say that. It did come in like a bolt pack again, mm -hmm. but it was a Walmart exclusive. Okay. So, so Walmart shoppers would have access to this, yeah, but, yeah, uh, the bolt brick, but or you'd have to get the detective's office. Right. That was it. And it came in 28 or excuse me, 2015. 2015. Yes. For the detective's office and 2018 for Walmart. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't, I don't know why, because the Walmart pack, it only had one. And That's unusual. To, normally, you want a set, you know. Right. Hmm. I don't know. And you can get this anywhere from five cents each to three dollars each. Okay, so also fairly affordable. Maybe not quite as discovered yet, like a lot of these parts. So right. Yeah. Very cool. I just thought it was interesting. You see a lot of doors, but not in the medium light blue color. That's pretty awesome. Bright so. light blue. Bright light blue. Very good. Bright light blue. Yes. That's interesting. So All right, right can you explain to our viewers what this is? It, from from there, it looks like a regular brick. Oh, my goodness. This but it's is not. a brick with a hole on each side. And I want to say this has something to do with old 9-volt stuff, but I'm not sure. Yes. I think it does, too, even though I'm not sure either. It came from classic town sets mm -hmm. um, and Legoland construction sets. Yes. So. Which they're, like, huge, I I noticed a lot of those sets are big vehicles. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming that would be for... Or it's a connector for um, something to like um, latch or socket into, like a, mm -hmm. a tipper or something like that could go in there. I'm not 100% sure, but that is super old and super weird piece. Right. Still, only two cents to two dollars for that one piece, which I guess if you had to pay two dollars for a bunch of those, super. it would be, a, it would be a big deal. From 1971 to 1988. So this actually predates minifigures in its first uses. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty neat. Yeah, it's just when they were building vehicles of all kinds. Maybe a hose could fit in there? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Just, that's pretty again, interesting. Again, it was one of those that I looked down and I saw it, and at first I thought it was a broken brick. And it then I looks realized like it was it's not. broken, but then you realize, oh, it's symmetrical. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's really neat. It looks like it almost would have arm sockets or something on the side. Right? That's interesting. That's another thing you would think. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Again, continuing on the blue. Ooh, I think I actually know where this is from. Do it. Say it. So this is a sand blue piece, and yes. it's a technic piece. Uh, technic slope, actually, I think is what it's called. That's correct. And because it's sand blue, I think it would have come in the um, old uh, Alpha Team sets. Alpha Team Mission 3 Deep Freeze sets. I'm not sure Genius. which one exactly, but that's the, the line. Alpha that... Team Mission Deep Freeze. Yep, exactly. Yep. 2004. Yep, the, I actually got the entire line of those sets as a kid. Yeah, because they, they were some of my now? favorites. Uh, no, they're all Aww. in pieces at this okay. point, but they were great sets. Yeah, so. they uh, and it, anywhere from a dollar to two for each one. Yep, and I think it's probably because that sand blue color is still pretty hard to find, despite right. coming in in all those sets. Right. Um, that is pretty. I neat. love sand blue. I think it's one of my favorite colors. It's very understated yet very like it's very subtle. You see it mm -hmm. in modulars a lot, yes. which suggests it's a good color. So. Yes, very classic. Very cool. Very classic. I'm glad. I'm proud of myself for doing it. I'm proud of you too. So tell me, is this a hinge part? Is it a windscreen? Or, uh, well, we'll just give you those two It's choices. technically both, right? Because it's got a hinge and it look. I've seen that used as a windscreen before. Mm -hmm. um, this one, it looks like a beetle's wings. So it I'm does. assuming it came in an insect related set, but I'm not sure exactly where it would have come from. It didn't. It didn't. So no, it was something else. It's from 2007. 
That's pretty old sets. Yes, it is considered a windscreen, even though I it's looked under hinge okay. because of the hinge part. It's not. It's a windscreen, mm -hmm. and it is from Aqua Raiders Two. Okay. Yep. So what is that? Is that going to be like the? This would be uh, based on the year. It wouldn't have been the classic Aqua Raiders sets, but it would have been the kind of the reissue before mm -hmm. they made Atlantis. They made Aqua Raiders, and they had they were fighting giant undersea creatures with submarines and stuff like that. So I'm not. I just, this is probably the squid sides. You might be right. I yes. don't know. I'd have to look. Anywhere from twenty cents to eighteen dollars for that. Yeah, so it would have been something from a gigantic sea creature. We'll have to post the picture of what it came in because it only came in the one set. Yeah, it's not from a beetle. It's from an actual undersea monster of some kind. So. Correct. Yeah, yeah, and I, you know, I looked at, I saw the set, but I didn't take a good look at it. Is it the ones that are yellow? Those yeah, they would have really had yellow, yellow and, the, and blue and the red. The mini figures would have had black and like that black light red. medium blue. Yep. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. So when he posts the picture, you guys can see exactly the closeness of it. But that's cool, and I, I can see so many cool uses for these in builds. So that's pretty. Right. Fun. I thought so too. We're going to keep up with the windscreens, everyone. Mm-hmm. Ooh, an old brown windscreen here. Only came in one set. Ooh. Oof. This is it, old Star it? Wars. Yes. But I'm not sure which set. I want to say it's from the uh, Episode 1 sets that would have come out in 1999 or 2002. 2000. 2000. Okay, so pretty close. Ooh. I, I don't know which one exactly. I don't but. know what episode because I don't. Does, do you have a set number or set name? I have a name, it? yes. Desert Skiff. Desert Skiff. Oh, so this would have been um, from the uh, episode from the, six. When the when uh, Boba Fett falls in the hole. Exactly. And the thing, this and was probably the first that. version of that vehicle that mm -hmm. uh, Boba Fett fell off the thing into the Sarlacc pit. Yes. So that's a pretty cool piece. Yeah. So it's six cents to five dollars each. Mm -hmm. Two thousand. Uh, yeah. Just. Only came in one set. I thought it was pretty cool. And in that old brown, a, a piece that's normally transparent is also mm -hmm. solid color. So that's pretty cool. Right. Because you see these in like a light blue or clear yes. pretty frequently from town sets of that era. Yes. But um, brown, very cool. That one. Yep. Yep. All right. We're moving on to a different larger piece here for you. Ooh. That felt like a castle thing when I first saw it. It is not. That is actually a big honker compared to the little pile right, that right, we right. started, started here. Yeah, it's the biggest piece I have. Now, I know where this is from because I've recently put this out and was talking to Chris about it because I um, I saw this is all one piece. Yes. Normally, this kind of thing would be multiple pieces, and this is from uh, a variety of junior sets, mm -hmm. uh, like the four and up sets, because mm -hmm. uh, you could build a whole submarine on this one chassis mm -hmm. and have it kind of float around, and I thought it looked like a camera. Yes. So. It, it kind of looks like a... Like a small ship to me or the mm -hmm. sides of something in a castle it does look very medieval when you uh, strip mm -hmm. it down to the single piece you could use mm -hmm. that as a tower or a. you are very correct it is junior sets and mm -hmm. only came and it has there's four different kinds i mean four different colors yeah and only four sets so one color for each set all junior sets interesting it is considered a cockpit yep so that's where the minifigure would sit in. You put a windscreen mm -hmm. over the top, and it's like a vehicle. I think you could take two and put it together. That might give you the hint of which Star Wars set. Oh, maybe a TIE Fighter. Yes, there we go. Yes, yes. Uh, the TIE Fighter attack. Is what it's so this called. is the inside of a TIE Fighter, and it, it greatly simplifies the process for younger builders and yes. kids who are just getting started with Lego. So Yeah, it also Very came good. in yellow, bright green, and blue. And again, mm -hmm. Can I've seen up. this in yellow. That's where I'm trying to remember it from. Okay. So it, I think that was a construction set. Mm -hmm. before, not just construction Very set. cool. Yeah. I Very unusual so shape. I bet if you got a bunch of those somehow, that would make a really interesting architectural build piece. For so, you, it would. For castles, yeah. For me, I'd be like, whatever. I, I see know. castles in everything that I, I you do. see here. I'm glad. There. You inspire me. All right, my friend. We talked about this. This is exciting. Mm. White tires. You will find, if you look up this one in black, it'll be like thousands of sets. This oh, yeah. in white, one set. Wow. One set in white, and there were six in the set. I bet it's from a, uh old NASA set. You think? Or an old space exploration set, because uh, where, 2008. where could it be? 2008. 2008. Mm. 45 cents to $12 for each tire. $12 a tire, so at the most expensive. Uh -huh. so. Oof. I don't know precisely, but I'm guessing it has something to do with outer space. No. No, unless, I'm wrong. Oh, unless no. you think under the water, under the sea is space. That's a new space to him. Okay, to okay. Well, uh, under the sea. Yes. Interesting. What set did it come in here? I don't, I didn't watch the show. I can't think of it. Spongebob. 
Sponge, okay, okay, this is the uh, tires for the SpongeBob bus, the right? The Bikini Bottom Express, yep. yes, yep. the bus. That is great. Isn't that weird? And it only came in the one, and, and it's probably very expensive because it's from SpongeBob, right? Yeah. Because everyone loves that and wants to you recreate those sets. Anymore. So yeah. And we have a bunch of those in the graveyard down, or not these, but we have a bunch of that set in the graveyard because we don't have a lot of those. We're missing the tires, so we still mm -hmm. have the chassis, and we don't. Right. We, so we, these are very hard to find here at Atlanta Yeah. Brookhouse. And I found it, you know, when set when bolt comes in before it gets poured in the back, I go through it to mm -hmm. see, look for rare things figure parts, anything that we need. And when I saw that, I'm like, oh, I, I don't need her to look it up to know it's rare. Yeah, But I was is... shocked it was SpongeBob. Yes. Because I truly thought it was going to be a city space. Yeah, because um, you see these wheels and you think, oh, maybe it's like a Mars rover yes. or a, a moon exactly rover or something like that. Yeah, so that's interesting. So SpongeBob white tires. That's pretty cool. That right? would look very neat on a, like a custom modded vehicle. Right? So. Yes. Uh, if you're doing all black and white, maybe. Yep, that would exactly. That would be kind of cool. All right, another white part for you. Ooh. This is a white inverted 6x4 double slope. This is a... Lots of words with a hole in the middle. Exactly. You don't see a lot of these. The hole in the middle. I know they came in light gray and black. I've never seen a white one. Mm-hmm. So I wouldn't know where this c comes from. Probably like an old space set? 2000 to 2005. Does that help you at all in any way? A little bit. Not really. Maybe no Jack space. Stone. No space. No Jack Stone. Mm. Star Wars. Of course. Star Wars. The UCS Blockade Runner. Okay. So this is actually from a very collectible expensive set then. Yes. Nice. Or the Pod Racing Bucket. Yep. From 2000. Mm -hmm. The Ferrari Racers Truck. Yep. 2005. Another and one I didn't have. So. A movie backdrop studio. Okay. I so. don't know what that would be for. So I this is a that. structural component in many different things, mm -hmm. like Star Wars vehicles, cars, mm -hmm. and architecture for the movie backdrop set. I think I remember right. that one. It's probably like a studio, yes. Steven Spielberg esque stuff. Yes. So. Yes, it is. It yep. Is, it is. And that would have been in all of them, right? So. Yes, and it's ten cents to ten dollars each. Mm -hmm. Again, a wide variety. All the way up to ten dollars. Wow. Mm -hmm. So. Probably because of that. For a really good one. Probably because that UCS uh, blockade runner probably brings the price of unusual shapes like this right. up pretty high. And a lot so. of the lower priced ones were yellowed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Messed yeah. up. This yeah. one's pretty good condition. This I one's pretty like. clean, yeah. You don't see any yellowing or mm -hmm. um, uh, scuffs or scratches. So this one's probably in the couple bucks range. So. I feel like it. And yeah. I feel like I could give that to Tracy for her for the future. We would put this in a certified complete set because it's in great shape. Right? Absolutely. Yeah, so. Absolutely it is. It's not yellowed at all. So that's an unusual, I didn't really realize that came in white. I've seen that in old light gray and black a couple times. But, right. Yeah. And I've seen the white, but I, it didn't have a hole in the middle. Mm -hmm. Oh, so the I hole in the middle makes it special. Correct. So that's an even extra information extra. there. So yeah. Yes. And then this, going from an old, old piece, this is a very new piece, which I yes. think I showed this to you recently and said, this is pretty awesome. It's under hinge even though it's kind of like a tile modified mm -hmm. uh, but it only came in one theme of sets and it is from 2021 is that new so this is from a year ago this uh -huh. is pretty new any idea um, only one theme of sets i know it's from a four plus right no mm -hmm. so it's not okay so it was fooling me Oh, I don't know now. Um, I wanna city, see, maybe? I want to see how you use this piece. Cause... So I would use this as a panel because you've got these studs along the edges, which looks like bolts. Mm -hmm. And so I've seen people use that to great effectiveness in mocks. Okay. But um, you could do, like, signs. You could do, uh, like, a, I think, you know, a satellite with uh, um, uh, solar panels, things mm -hmm. like that. So there's mm -hmm. lots of uses that come to mind. But I'm curious what its original purpose was okay. in sets. In the set, there were two. And I don't even know if I can call these sets. Mm -hmm. but they faced each other like this in a little box, and there was something in the middle of it. And oh, so this might be from, is it from Ninjago? No, it's from Video. Video, okay. Which tells me if they're not bringing Video back, I wonder if they're going to bring this piece back. So this is very specific to Video for, like, the doors and the, the mm -hmm. container. Mm -hmm. So this is like... One a, on either side of the fig. So despite it being useful for other things, it had a very specific and deliberate use when it was made in sets. Right, that was it. That's why I feel like it It didn't, I feel like they could do a lot more with that. Yes. And at least they, if they continue producing this part, it could be used for many things, like a door or something like that. But um, yeah, it came in video, and if video stops, this part could stop too. Right. So, so I feel like it's kind of rare. It could be, yeah. It, it, I, I have not seen this, so this is a refresher for me. I need to look up all the video parts that they're producing now. I know they made some rare tiles and stuff too, so. Correct. Very yes. cool. 
Yeah, oh, and that anywhere from fourteen cents to two fifty each. Interesting. So even a, like that. a newer piece can still be a dollar or two if you're getting a top quality piece. So. Right, right. All mm -hmm. right, we're moving on to a new color. I don't, I don't know why I'm doing color today, but I am. I like my color. That okay, works. okay. Ooh, and I have seen, I have one or two of these at home just because I think it looks like a giant rib. It does. So like a bone. Ooh. Oh, it'll Ooh. go with our skeletal Ooh. Uh, Ooh. spine there. Yes. We're going to build a whole man before this is over. My problem is, I don't know, I have no clue where this piece would have come from. One set. One set. Hmm. I have no idea. And every time I find it, I'll give you a hint. I give it to Tracy. Oh, so probably Star Wars. It is Star Wars. It is Every Star time Wars. I find it, only one set, Star Wars set, uh, you want to know? I have no idea where it's from. So. Watto's Junkyard? The oh, old version. The old version of Watto's Junkyard has this piece. Yes, that's it. So that's very in, collectible. In tan. And then all the other colors that it comes in, all were in Belleville sets. Okay, that makes sense. This mm -hmm. looks like something that would have been molded for Belleville. But. Yes. But it, the one I think is pretty, I haven't seen one in real life, I'd like to, is mm -hmm. Trans Dark Pink. That would be that neat. That was Belleville. But in tan, it came in the Star Wars. Mm -hmm. And it goes anywhere from $1.75 to $24 for, per, per piece. Yeah, so like a really good condition could be very expensive, like many of these that we've mm -hmm. seen. But also, you could still get it for a dollar if you wanted a nice used one. So. Yeah. Absolutely. So this is pretty cool. I love how it has a very unusual connection point in the bottom there. You can kind of see in this video. Yeah, it's 1 by 12, so it goes pretty far. I that think. is pretty weird. I like that piece. I know I have one or two of these at home that I just grabbed from Bulk or wherever, yes. but that's neat. In tan, Star mm -hmm. Wars. Every time, once I learn this, it's for some reason it's stuck in my head. So every time I see it, I'm like, oh, that's I'm a I'm going to think of Watto's Junkyard every time I see that piece now. So Good. Like, I know where it's from now. Good, so. and then you learned. And only right. one use, too. So. And forget the gray part, but... In tan, everyone's seen the trap door, right? Mm hmm But in tan, it's pretty hard to come by. I think I know where this is where, from because I think I had this set as a kid. It would have been from the Adventurer sets. Yes. The, the desert-themed ones. Only in Adventurer sets. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, I wrote it down, like 1998 to 2003, I think there's maybe six sets, six or seven, and they're yep. all Adventurers. One's a jungle, one's the... Dinos. I don't know. They're yeah. all a bunch of different. Desert, things. jungle, dinos, a whole bunch of different adventurers mm -hmm. themes. Because so. I remember inventorying a set and needing this trap door and we didn't have it. Yep. And uh, I had to order it. So. Yeah, this was one of my favorite pieces growing up because you could put a little Technic piece under there and have the figure walk over and then, oh, it falls oh, and real? dies. So it's great. So. Oh, I love that. A lot of fun for building little traps in your Lego scenes. So. I love it. All right, so we went from again from a super old tan part to now a super u new tan part. Which yep. This looks it's not all that. You can show the viewers what that is. Oh my goodness! So this is a, a couple pieces stacked up here. Several. So <laughs> you don't want to confuse anyone, but it looks like it's, it's a, not even a full brick in height. It looks like it's two plates in it's height. It's two by two by two third. I yes, think? two thirds yeah. of a brick. Yes. Right. So. so yeah, so it's not, but it could. It to me, it looks like a bale of hay. Mm hmm. Or I'm sure else? that's what it could be used for. For it sure, it wasn't. A, it wasn't a, some city sets for that because it's pretty new. It's from 2021 and further. It only came in tan and it came in black. That reminds me of the column piece, the two by two round brick with the uh, lines going up, but these lines are going to the side. Right. So it's like a, a architectural and we have piece. A, we have a one by two brick that had vertical or. Mm -hmm. Vertical and horizontal lines on either side. Different patterns and different sizes. Like a sides. hay brick yep. or whatever mm -hmm. we used to call those. So I thought that was a pretty good idea. But I keep finding them, and John keeps finding them, and every time he does, I stack them up high. So we got a little collection of these brand new yeah, pieces. Yeah, and then we can add the brick to the, the black to the bottom. But the mm -hmm. um, it comes in city sets, monkey kid, advent calendar this year, and then the new globe. Yeah. I don't know. Brand what new that, stuff. Yeah. I don't know what that would be on the globe. Probably interior stuff, oh. like uh, mechanics or uh, just strength in the inside, but okay. it's pretty cool. Yeah, I thought so. I've never seen one in person, so that's really neat to see. I, I knew that this piece existed because someone messaged me about it, but um, it's pretty neat. And I love yeah. how it's not even a full brick nor a plate. It's like in between. Right. So. It's pretty cool. I like that no, a lot. That's pretty cool. And we're collecting them because we're, we think we'll be using them at some point in sets like and whatnot. So. Or I feel like you might steal them off my desk and, and I might see them in a set one day. They might end up in my bulk. and yes. uh, Yep. Yeah, so... Here's another, oh, so here's a one by one tile modified with clip going up. And I think the reason we're talking about this right now, it's a very common piece. 
but this one's tan and it looks like it's the old style mm -hmm. so it's probably pretty rare if i'm thinking correctly it i have no idea rare. where it's from it's pretty but. rare and tan it came in a viking set ah uh, yes and then it came in a star wars set don't ask me which one because i forgot in a <laughs> star wars set of some kind yeah yes yeah so. from 1999 to 2007 mm -hmm. and then also the old harry potter castle gotcha so the old sets from the early 2000s mm -hmm. would have had this rare tan color and this older clip style i know that they make a newer less prone to breaking clip style mm -hmm. which is better um there's two different kinds the u and the o yes this is the u mm -hmm. so the the u's more break is that what you're yes, saying yes they, they, these the tend to break a little bit easier and the o ones are a little bit Kinda newer yeah yeah okay yeah and then it ranges in price from 69 cents to 16 dollars for one I mean, so, even if it's used, I don't see how it can be that bad at, looking. At this weight, you're probably paying as much for this as you would, like, precious metals or gemstones. I mean, it's, it's getting kind of ridiculous at $16 for a very nice... Wow, okay. I just want to know who these people are. <laughs> that are the selling this for this, yeah. $75 for the... For the the trophy. Yep. $4 so for the trophy. Some Lego pieces to some people are worth more than gold. Right? So. Right. And okay. definitely check out Justin and Chris's video about them talking about whether it's worth more than right? gold. Right? So. Yes. Okay. Talk so, all about the investment side. So I've got some rounded bricks here and rounded plates. Mm. Here's another. I've never seen this before. This rounded, is very unusual. Rounded versions of things, which I know you've seen those. So it has a bottom piece it almost looks like a chair like a little stool that's really cool yeah and if you look at the bottom it's almost like it screws into something yeah it looks like it that's right? very interesting so that is a two by two black round plate with mm -hmm. a rotation piece in the bottom they, there's also another one looks just like it almost mm -hmm. and it's called it's got screw in the bottom or whatever yeah and these are from new sets 2019 to 2021 mm -hmm. anywhere from two cents to two dollars each and they're in a lot of the Ninjago sets, the newer ones, and the stunts sets. Stunt sets. Okay, so like vehicle type stuff then, I still right? don't know what that's for, though. Like, what, what Somebody are you in the comments, into? Please, someone tell us. Let us know where you've seen that piece and what it does. I know where this is from, though. What? This is from Harry Potter's wand, right? Wait. What are the uses? This, uh, uh, the round brick here? Yes, it was in that. It was also in like, more Ninjago sets. Mm -hmm. uh, and a DC set. Yep. And an education, some educational sets. I didn't know about educational sets. That's cool. And again, it's newer, 2019 to 2022. It's a perfectly round piece. Sphere with a stud on the bottom, which I love because it could be like a ball. Mm -hmm. And obviously the balls that they made roll. Yep. It's hard to hold, but that one looks... Eh. I could, could see be a this, lantern. I was about to say, I could see this in a different color being used as a lantern, like yellow, white, or clear. Wait, in Ninjago sets, is it trans red? It might That's be, a, like a China, lantern. the Chinese. Mm -hmm. I bet you it's the Chinese with the dark, or trans red, I mean. But this has so many cool Black. uses just for that round piece that's so easy to attach to stuff with the stud on the top and the attachment point at the bottom. Mm -hmm. So that's a really cool piece to see and exciting to see that appear in more sets. It, yep. Although, that being said, I don't see them here that often. And unless you buy the no. set that it contains it, you're not going to see it in, in your old collection. We will not so. have it in bulk. In fact, I have what I call my secret stash, our parts that are newer that we don't have bulk mm -hmm. and when we need them to complete sets so those are going to go in that exactly because we don't I mean, so whenever we need uh this for a particular set we have, have it, it right especially saved out because otherwise you would we'll never be able to order it. it we'll have to order it yeah. otherwise mm -hmm. yeah Ooh, oh. i dropped it there you go all right my friends out. okay now i know that you know these okay um these Explain are. Explain to people what this is. These are. We've got a rubber piece and a Technic brick on it the is bottom. It's a Technic brick. And it has a nice little extra bar there. You can see against my t shirt there. So, what does. How does that. I'm trying to figure out how that attaches because I couldn't get it to attach to this plate because the. The angle is very unusual, and I think right. you're going to need um, those hinge bricks and other things in order to attach it correctly. Okay, that makes sense. Or you need two of them to ma make a perfect um, right angle. I got you. So you could get more than one of these, and I've seen these used for the front of uh, trains, front of cars, but also for um, hovercraft. Yes. So you get a bunch of them, and uh, it it's a really cool piece. Around. And I think that does that hovercraft actually float? I don't know if it actually floats, but I it, imagine it's like it a could, bumper. because this rubber would actually be pretty buoyant. Right. So I, it's it's a pretty neat piece. Uh, I think the more you have, the more useful and interesting it becomes. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty cool to see. 
Yeah, so without the rubber part, mm -hmm. it's anywhere from a penny to two fifty, which is another one of those that I felt Affordable like Affordable piece, yeah, yeah. It's from 93 to 2004, that piece. Mm -hmm. And it only came in the Millennium Falcon. Yep. The wow. old, old version. Mm -hmm. The hovercraft and then a rescue. Mm -hmm. Yep. Set. Exactly. Set Alpha team or something um, like that? that would have been like either before rescue. or after. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, but then with the rubber, the rubber part adds like anywhere from ten cent to four dollars each. Yeah, so it. the rubber is pretty uh, expensive, probably because when it gets removed in someone's collection, they're not going to really remember. Yeah, they'll throw that where, away. This will probably get tossed, thinking it's like a edge of a door frame. It, it mm -hmm. looks like a, a, a trim piece. I think versus, it's pretty neat. That's really cool. It fits it's together just great. So. Wonder sometimes Lego they come. It's like they tease us. They give us such a cute color or a cool part. They give us in a few sets and then they're done. Yep. It must have. They must have. Uh, what is it called? The the molds. They must have different molds for things everywhere. Just I think, laying around. And yeah, and they <laughs> say that they no longer produce the molds or they destroy the molds. It's like, how could you not save those? I don't right. know. But all I know is that we are um, looking back on an era back in the early 2000s of when Lego went absolutely gangbusters wild with yeah, designs and stuff. probably cost so them a lot of money they didn't need to do. They, they've really pared down quite a bit. It's a lot more... Uh, uh, calm and sensible with their pieces in general. In general. So we are always looking back at the early 2000s and thinking, what was this made for? So right. it's always fun to see these kinds of pieces. Yeah, and it only came in black. Only came in black, okay. Right, so. So, so if I see it in a different color, I would be very shocked. I so. would be too. Probably a prototype or something. Yes, and you were talking about you liked that piece. Tell me what this piece was used for. See, I don't know what the original purpose of this piece was. I'm thinking it was inside Star Wars ships and such. Um, but I know that this is a very useful oh, brick. no Star Wars. No Star Wars. Aquazone, Insectoids, Unitron, and Space Police. Okay, so no Star Wars, but definitely spaceships So yes. and vehicles. Um, this is really useful because it has two inverted areas on opposite sides, so you could put bricks. Let's just yes, get these can ones. Teach me how to do it. Teach me Obi-Wan. And you suddenly have so many weird connection points coming from this one brick. Uh -huh. And so the, you could do like a core of a spaceship. You could do a weird attachment okay. for any. I mean, you you almost give yourself unlimited options with such a weird yeah. connection point. I I honestly, when I looked at this, I thought, well, that's just for them to put a hose through something mm -hmm. to get it to the other side. Could of be that as well. I, I think it was probably used in pneumatics a little bit too. But it's oh, it's okay. just awesome. Yeah. So it's those very are cool. hard to come by. Mm -hmm. We have a few. And it came in a couple of colors, but mostly black and red. Yeah, black, red, maybe two, some light maybe gray. Or yellow, maybe? I don't know. I'd have yep. to look. I might be talking out of my head right now. Nine cents to five dollars each from mm -hmm. 1992 to 1998. Yep, another. So I guess we're not going to see them. And then we have the other, we don't have it here, but the one that has the studs on the outside. It's like the opposite. Yeah, so you could have this one and the ones with studs. And you could probably line mm -hmm. them up if they connected right. So that's pretty awesome. Yeah, I like it. That is cool. I know that I have a handful of these at home, and I use them in builds because they're just so wacky and so interesting with their connections. So Yes, we need to incorporate that into our skeletal... Our, our freakish skeletal our freakish design that we're working on here. Our, wait, with this part. The ribs, yep. Yes. Okay, cool. We're building something oh my as goodness. we go. Yep. All right, um, what do you want to see over here? So this... What is it? What is it? Is a 4x4... Four four round, I want to say it's, I don't know if it's not a tile modified or a brick or plate. I know that this was used as an Atlantis treasure disc holder. Yes. So It's called a turntable. Turntable, okay. It. That I makes thought sense. that was the flat thing that, but this goes on the turntable. Yes, this is the top part of the turntable. Attaches to it. Yeah. It's got the jagged edge on top, only in Atlantis sets. Mm -hmm. So you were right about that. 2010 to 2011. And this ranges anywhere from two cents to three dollars each. And that's a pretty cool shape. So what was in the what what was there? The little Atlantis discs that we actually have in our fish tank. Oh. That's where you would snap them down. And then you could spin it. You could use it to spin, or that's where it would just be ready for when the um, it, the explorers are trying to take them, or the Atlanteans are trying to defend them. Okay. So it was like a little platform to store it. So. Okay. Oh, yeah. that's neat. So I didn't even know cool. that. So okay. I've seen people use these as the tops of castles, though. So right. I, you know, there's always well, a use for a castle right. piece. You know, of so. course, of course. Well, and that's why I was saying it. To me, it didn't feel like an underwater dealie, but because it feels more like a rock side. It looks more something. rocky. Yes, yeah. so it looks more natural and organic than um, architecture. Right. So, yeah. I don't know. But um, anything right. can be a castle piece if you try hard enough. Of course it can. All right. How could this be a castle piece? Oh. I am not sure. I, this is the telescope <laughs> piece, but in orange. Yes, mm. isn't that neat? That's pretty cool. I see that as being the nose of a snowman, personally, but, you know. Well, it could be the spindles on the... 
It the could. stairwell. Yep, exactly. You have a line castle. of these going up yeah, and yeah, down. Yeah. Yep. And orange might not be so castly, but I honestly, the only reason I knew about these being rare is that one of our employees at inventories needed it for an agent's set. Oh. And I, I thought, oh, that's easy. I'm sure I've seen them everywhere. I couldn't find one at all. Well, Tried to order it. Orange so, is a weird color for this piece. I know right? it's common in uh, brown and uh, black and Dark probably brown. silver and gold. It's very common in yes. gold. Because it's a, a spyglass as well. Right. And so see, orange makes sense that with the agents because the villain had orange all over. Correct. So that's probably has something to do with a villain weapon or vehicle. It, it, so. it was. I do believe you're correct. It also came in the game Frog Rush. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. That's from 20, or 2009. It would have been the heron's leg. And the heron was the oh. villain of that game. Oh, look we at had you. that set. Yeah, I can't so. believe that. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. And then the Lamborghini? I have no idea where Stick it was. You, maybe the, the shifter was orange in the interior. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That makes sense. Yeah. So, we'll uh, go with that. Six cents to two dollars each. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah. yeah. And it, it's a part that's common in many colors, but super rare in this color. So. Yeah. And so, like I said, I had to order it and I ordered a few extras so I don't have to do it again. And then yep. I, when I got them in, I'm like, oh, I'm putting it in here. Exactly. People probably may even have them at home and don't even realize how rare they are. That's pretty cool. All right. You will get this, I feel like. More orange. Imagine. Hmm. Imagine with me. Uh, so that looks like the engines of an X-Wing, but I, they wouldn't have been orange, it though. Is, it is Star Wars. It is Star Wars. Oh, oh, oh I know. I know way. what it is. It would be out here. I know what this is. Yes. This is a pod racer yes. engine piece. Yep. Yes. Probably from the old pod racer set. Yes. The, what's that? Moss Espa? Moss Espa Pod Race. Yeah. 1999. Is it Moss Espa or Moss Eisley? Oh, I don't know. Maybe I read Maybe it's Moss Espa. Anyway, it's one of those two. It's, I don't know it's what It's the Moss is, Pod so. Race, yes. <laughs> so, um, yeah, these are um, very cool. Orange. And, and yeah, so these were pretty common in white, and I think light gray light, as well. Light, light gray light and light blue gray. gray. Yep, and so they came in a different, black, uh, I think. more standard colors, but orange is super weird. Just like those uh, uh, eye, uh, spyglass pieces, these are Only very came cool. in that one set in orange. Anywhere from twenty two cents each to ten dollars. Yeah, I can I can see that being a little bit more collectible and expensive because of that Star Wars connection. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool. harder to come by, I think. These are weird pieces too. There's so many weird stud connections everywhere. Right. So you can get very creative very fast with those things. Ooh. Every part of this is rare. I can see that. This is like you got the pink shutters, and these are the old light pink, right? Correct. And the old light pink. They're just um, called pink. Window panes, yeah, just pink. Mm -hmm. And then you got the um, old dark pink window window frame. frame. Mm -hmm. And even having the shutters on it makes it kind of hard and collect hard to find a collectible. So I have no idea where this is from. I want to say Belleville. You would think, but it's it's basically bulk brick for girls. They were called girls freestyle sets. Oh, okay, I just, remember freestyle sets. Yes. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I it's just so uh, ninety five like, to ninety six is all it came out to be. Freestyle was kind of like the um, classic line sets of today. So they just come with a bunch of useful parts like bricks, windows, eye pieces. And you could uh, have some basic instructions for mm -hmm. buildings and animals and then just free to do your own stuff. But it was girls freestyle. So yes. I'm sure the boys freestyle didn't have pink in it. No. The girls are the ones with the pink and they discontinue. Now we still have the dark pink out, but the dark pink window frame only came in that set. Yep, the, no, the just the pink color doesn't even really... Right see the light of day much in lego sets these days correct so. and i i thought this was going to be super expensive but again it's not uh the the windows the whatever those are the called. panes the yeah. panes are 12 cent to four dollars each which i guess four dollars a couple is dollars is expensive yeah. uh the window the dark pink window frame five cents to three dollars the mm -hmm. pink shutters six cents to three dollars yep. so i mean you could conceivably get it as cheap as a little over 20 cent or go all the way as high as ten dollars for that whole thing, yeah. depending on the quality. And if you're getting a nice one that actually snaps together, mm -hmm. it's going to be a couple of dollars to get this stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. very cool. And you don't see that. Enough. I know that my friend Julian, who made that giant pink castle, would love to get his hands on a bunch of these. I so. bet he would. I only found one. That and is again, it was cool. just in a bunch of bulk we got in. Mm -hmm. So you, it kind of tells us this, the history of people when they come in. If they have something like that in there, you're like, oh, this must have been a. Yep. Whatever. So Someone who grew up it. in the 90s yes, who had exactly. a, a girl who liked Legos. That's exactly. pretty cool. Exactly. Exactly. I bet you the girl set from Freestyle is a lot more collectible than the boy set, just based on the color oh, of pieces that would be in there. So. Absolutely. And speaking of collectible, let's move to these because these are, it's shocking that these are Lego. 
When I first came to work here, I remember finding these in a bucket and I thought, this is a bunch of plastic crap. Can I say that word? Yep. And I was like, wait. And then Chris comes along and he goes, no, don't throw that away. That's Lego. I'm like, what? This mm -hmm. cannot be Lego. There is no way. These are amazing. These what? are um, the old plant pieces, the old bush pieces, the old tree pieces. And there's two different versions we got going on here. These are from the old 1960s and 70s sets. These would have had little HO scale vehicles mm -hmm. made of metal and other yes. plastics. And so, you know what else is, is, except for this one, you know what else is unique about these? Is they came in a Samsonite set. Yes, yes, different plastic types, um, and they're produced in um, United States under the Samsonite company. So. Right, so it's technically, it, was produced for Samsonite by Lego? I think it was produced for Lego by Samsonite. Oh, oh. Okay. So basically, yeah, yeah it, it's a yeah, yeah, very yeah. similar situation, but basically Samsonite was making Lego products for Lego in the United States during this time. I so, got you. Okay, yeah. now I understand what mm -hmm. that meant. Okay, yeah, so um, these are anywhere from 75 cent, these uh, pine trees, anywhere mm -hmm. from 75 cents to $25 each. And we've got some really good, these are really good condition. So I feel mm -hmm. like we would have our on the higher end. And then these bottom bushes here are anywhere from eighty cents to fifteen dollars each. That's insane. So like right? ten bucks a bush piece, and it's just because they're so old, they don't look like Lego. No. Most people would have tossed these, but they, they definitely are Lego. And they they really don't hold well to the no to they, the studs at all. They, they just kind right of set in there. They do. They just set down. They, they don't actually. really. They don't have any actual stud connections. They just have those little mm -hmm. bars to hold it between the studs. Right. And um, hey, between the studs. <laughs> like today. So. Yeah. Exactly. But then show this one to the people because this one, it almost looks like it's a joke. Like they just took some crystals and painted it green and stuck it on a plastic stick. And <laughs> This is so unusual. I can't even begin to imagine how they even crafted these because it's like little plastic um, It's like they rolled chunks. it in rock salt. Yeah, they something. just kind of rolled it in hot little plastic chunks and then spray painted it all green. No, it's so unusual. Right. Looks like they have a tree frame underneath. Yeah. And these are like kind of stuck on there. Yeah. Now this is from a Legoland Universal set. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it is anywhere from seven to eight dollars each. Yes, and, and this one actually does have the tree uh, base connection, similar to the trees that they still produce today, uh -huh. but it's a very different look for sure. And in brown, because the others all were green base. So that's and this is even base. like a weirder brown color than most. This is like mm, really like early medium, stuff. Or not a medium, like a light. Yeah, it light, almost looks almost like, like a light dark brown or something. Yeah, it's a very weird a lighter shade of, of brown. brown. Yeah. So this is another amazing piece. And these were actually featured on our Treasures of the Sorting Room video the other day because they oh, found some of these. Oh, I you did that. You're right. You're right. Yep. You're right. You're right. Yeah. When he brought me that, I was like, oh, it has to go on the Yeah. Show. These are so rare. So cool. Pretty amazing. And if you see anything like this, check it out. Look up Lego trees and plants before you throw it away mm -hmm. because you might have something really cool. Yeah. If you look on BrickLink, it's under plant comma tree. Yeah. And there's every one of these styles are listed there, which exactly. is amazing to me. You can get a little information of where they would have come from. So. Right. Exactly. We'll slide those out of the way now. All right. We only have a few left. We'll do the two that have spikes for the people out there. Again, this is a newer part, but it has, yes. but it was so neat that I couldn't help but feel like that needed to be a part of That looks of our... like a little bit of sunshine right there. That's Aww, so cool. Oh, look at that. You're so sweet. And a these little bit of probably would have come from the new Mario sets. Is that right? Yes, that is one of the ones. Where did I... So I'm pretty I sure that I know that these originally were made for the next night sets in like, um, I want to say sand, blue, and purple, and other colors for the weapons and actual builds of the stone uh, enemy characters. Uh -huh. But now you can see them in yellow, which I have not seen this color in this piece before. Um, yeah, so it came in uh, Lego Movie 2. Lego Movie 2. It came in green in... Oh, in the in Mario, the sets, Mario okay. sets, And then it came in, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, Trolls. Trolls. That had some wild colors and for very, like, nowadays. And weird parts in those sets. I don't know. I think that's where Lego went a little. That was like their... They're 2000. Exactly. They they're, brought they're, it back. <laughs> they're bringing it all back. Yes, yeah, so that Things was made great. Felt, it was weird. The yeah, full sets um, were fun. Yeah, yeah. and again, two, uh, 10 cents to $2. Yep. But I just thought it was really unique. Mm -hmm. So a very cool, interesting piece and a color that you don't often see. So. Right. And I can't right. even imagine all the uses for this. First of all, it's like a spiky wheel or it's mm -hmm. like a sunshine, like I was saying earlier. You make it like a torture thing, torture chamber in your castle, you know, like this is going to come down if I'm you don't I'm thinking you like you in construction, away. you know, like they're breaking up a road, yes. you know, there's all sorts of things you could use for that. So yes. that's cool. Yes. And then our other little spiky thing 
Yes, so I actually remember these guys from Knight's Kingdom 2. It's two pieces that fit together and have a little clasp for a chain. Yes. And that way it would make a great ball and chain with uh, spikes in the end so you could use it like a flail. So right. these are made for the larger It um, was uh, from the Ninjago's Mountain Shrine. And and the, I'm talking about the me metallic color version of these. The black ones like we have here are oh, rare because uh, yes. they're in black. And so these were made just a little after, but only in two different sets, right? Right, Ninjago and a Bionicle in 2009. Yep. So they were used probably for like something you avoid in because yes. uh, they got these spikes on them. I feel like you're right, yeah. And uh, one to five dollars for a half. Yeah. So you could be spending up to ten dollars for just for this little spiky little ball thing. here. So yeah, I I don't know. I thought that was pretty cool. It looked violent. Yes, it looked like you could do some damage with this guy if it was attached to a pole. So that's right? pretty fun. Right. And then this guy, I feel like you could ice pick somebody. That looks like an awl. Like you just want to. What is it? Do you know? Do you know? I know where this is from. What? 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 This is from the old sports sets in yes. the soccer series that would have controlled the goalie. Absolutely. You so are you could exactly use it as right. a little control to make sure your goalie could block the shots of your enemy as they were trying to shoot it into the goal. You are exactly right. That is exactly what that is for. And it was in only the soccer sets. Yes. Only the soccer sets. And we sell those now. I found a whole bunch of them, so I put them out in the store. So if you want to come by and pick them up, feel free. They're a couple dollars each. Will they be on the website, too, as well, soon? Soon. Yeah. Yeah. And what else could you use that for? I don't even know. You know what I see immediately when I think of this? What? I'm casting a spell in Harry Potter world. That's what I'm doing. You know it what? Looks with, like that, a wand. with that large one maybe yeah yeah but i'm like this is it. it has a nice comfortable handle it looks like oh, it's about oh, the right oh, size oh. for a human i got so you I got this you. is a lego wand before lego before wands were cool. it was longer so, yeah. yes i got you i got you I so got that's you. pretty fun but no it actually has a, some interesting connection pieces here that's actually a mixel joint right there so okay you could do a lot with that oh you could do that okay so did you know that there are pieces in lego that are odd numbered like this is a two by five See, I didn't Did even you know, know that? that that was an actual measurement for Lego pieces. That's pretty cool. That is a two by five plate with a socket ball connection on the bottom. So this would have been like a tow vehicle or a um, something that was put on top and towed behind kind of thing. Yes, but two by five. I mean, two by what? five uh, plate. Two right? by five with a tow ball socket from Classic Town Sets from 1980 to 1997. So early minifigures. So. Yeah, anywhere from $1 to $6 for that one piece. That's pretty cool. This reminds me of stuff that you would see in the classic space sets, too, because you just don't see that mm -hmm. kind of mold produce any more at all. Right. I, I think it's pretty neat, though. I feel like it's got other, it's got to have other uses than just the ball socket. Yeah, I think but that rounded edge this would be pretty cool. Thingy? I think it will. Huh. I, just, I just decorated your wand. There we go. <laughs> so we've got a... Little pile of parts here. Let's finish this up. Blaze through them. We've yes. got this red door. What do we know about this cool red it door? It is an piece? odd shape. It's a one by four by five mm -hmm. with the six panes in it. It only came in three sets or four sets, but it, it was only in bulk Brit sets. It's yeah, so like kind of classic town looking sets. Right, yeah. exactly. Two, to, two cents to eight dollars a piece. Mm-hmm. Uh, 1983 to 2002. So it actually was produced over the 2000s as well. That's very mm -hmm. interesting. Yeah, but again, it only came in bulk sets. There were no mm -hmm. specific... So like buckets sets. of brick type mm -hmm. situations. That's exactly. really weird. Yeah. That's cool. Very strange. Now I know it's harder to find. So. Right? All right? The yellow cockpit. And this looks actually looks newer just because it's in great shape, but is it older? It's 2005 to 2008. Wow, so it is a pretty, a pretty old piece. piece yeah. And it does have stickers on it. Yes. So it would normally not come like that. Mm -hmm. And it only came in two sets, a mobile crane, like a Technic mobile crane, and mm -hmm. then a Lego League. I don't okay, know. Lego League would have been very specialized sets for like um, competitions, like education. mechanics, oh, oh, yeah, oh, okay. education, yeah. Okay, yeah, so it is considered a cockpit. So super rare. I think this is probably from that first set you mentioned, mm -hmm. but it's pretty cool. Yeah, I thought so. I've seen and that in black a lot, but never yellow. Right. So, yeah. Yellow is pretty rare, and ten cents to three dollars each. So again, not too expensive, yeah. but you know. Got a long white axle piece. Now, can you imagine this? Okay, this is a sixteen long. Yeah. It came in a lot of blacks, in a lot of sets in black, and uh, several sets in white. Mm -hmm. And can you imagine that these are in? This is in the black pearl. Now, why didn't they use black? <laughs> I in bet you it's inside the mask and you can't see it. I guess, but that's just weird. Why would you? Black right. is so much easier to make. Right. Why would they make it white? That's like the right. opposite of what they normally do. Right. That is so unusual. You're weird. 
<laughs> so like if you're trying to complete the black pearl and you don't have the white ones you're not actually a complete set because you need right, the white ones exactly and we typically get it with black and i just think it's funny it's in a lot of sets you know a lot of technic sets mm -hmm. and all but the two that stood out to me were that it's in queen anne's revenge and it's in black pearl and i just thought the black pearl hello it's not the white pearl it is the black why not pearl. make it black make everything so much simpler that's that's right? funny weird, weird, it, weird is it kind of expensive too or is it pretty normal pricing uh it was not that expensive it is the white actually is there? oh oh yes it was I oh was really the wrong thing i thought that was 25 cent no it's 375 each to 25 dollars each so pretty expensive to get these white axles correct very I misread cool. my notes no so it is good. pretty expensive and here's one that was giving us some trouble earlier, right? Mark we were trying it. to identify it. I looked under motor. I looked under electronics. I looked under all kinds of things, and I couldn't find it. And then all of a sudden, Mark goes, look under gearbox. And that's where it was, gearbox. Yep. And show them how awesome it is. Oh, yes. So this piece is, I wish we, I had a few of these pieces, because when you put the axle on here and you apply a uh, motor, so you're turning this axle, it turns, it turns both, both sides, sides at the Not same neat. time. And so, that is so neat. you're doubling your output. It's like uh, you mm -hmm. could use it in a vehicle and any other situation, and it, it's awesome for mechanical builds, technic builds. And I so, don't know why they don't make them today. It only was 2003 to 2006. So, limited use, right? Yeah, and it, and it was in technic sets alone, of course. Mm -hmm. And then it ranges anywhere from $1.50 to $15 each. So, fairly expensive, too. Mm -hmm. So, that's pretty cool. I wish that LEGO would produce things like that. However, you can get a bunch of individual pieces and make this, but it's way, way more work. Right. You know, this is so much simpler. Right. So hopefully Lego will get back on the ball and make cool pieces like that. Yeah. We talked about know. the axle. We've got the tan door. Adventurers. It's a swivel base. Adventurers, right? only one set. Pharaoh's mm -hmm. Forbidden Ruins. There we go. Yep. I would I, imagine, was there a sticker on it or something? Or? Uh, I think there were printed versions of this, too. Because it went, not, it wasn't in tan, though. This is the only one in tan. Only one in tan. Yeah. yeah, so I don't know if it had a sticker or not. I know it that the have. Harry Potter one has yes. the Harry Potter mirror on either side. Yes. I just didn't know, and that one was like a, pi a pyramid or something, and then it disappears. This was super useful because you could have your figure here, and you turn it around, and suddenly he's a skeleton. He's a, he, yes. Yeah, or yeah. he's gone. You know, So this, this was had a lot of fun play features. Well. I like the trap door. Yeah, from 1998, and it went up to at least $5. Yeah, so it's a, another tan is pretty hard to find piece to just because it only came in this old adventure. System. Yeah. Well, Angie, we're about done with these pieces here, but I have a very special surprise for you here. What? I saved it in here. <gasps> this one piece has been giving us so much trouble with the identification. Oh my word, does it go with this? But here's the completed piece. <gasps> you had it all along. Exactly. You stinker. And so here, this is piece number uh, 630. It was made from 1971 to 1975. It only came in five sets, two of those in red. Uh -huh. The other three were in yellow. And so- Is it a conveyor belt? It is a conveyor belt. You can turn that knob and send pieces up oh, or down. Oh my gosh. And it's really I cool. I wanna play with it. Oh, it does work. Oh yep. my gosh. This Just is barely. awesome. So I found the full assembly. We thought it was a Fabuland ladder. Like we have this one Yes, here. that's what we do. When did you sneak out and do this? I found it just <gasps> as you were getting ready for the video. I'm like, this will surprise Angie so bad. It is such a sweet surprise. Look, y'all. And so this, this is, is the one that was fooling us. And this is the completed yes. one. Yes. So. Oh, my goodness. This is such a great surprise, especially for someone like me who loves the rear parts. This is really great. I love it. I, I really I do. I can't believe I found it right before the video, too. I'm not kidding. This is serious. No, we so. were talking about I was like... We need to put this on, but I don't know where it is. I don't know how to find it. And he's like, we'll just do it next time. Yeah, I was like, we'll do it later, Angie. Don't worry. It's I already magical. had that one in my drawer. You are so, so magical. But wow. the fun part about this is this this piece predates minifigures, and it's a very complex assembly. It really You've is. You've got like three or four pieces in here and the rubber conveyor belt. That so that's crazy. really weird. Wow. So. This is great. What a great way to end the show. Exactly. I a little love surprise. This surprise. I love surprises. Exactly. Yay. Well, thank you guys so much for joining on us on this tour of w rare, weird pieces. We love doing these kind of videos. Um, it, let us know which ones surprise you. Let us know which ones you've seen before. Mm -hmm. And if you want to see more of these, let us know. And, yeah, or um, if you have rare parts at your house, send us some pictures and we'll see if we can match it up and do it on our next show. Let us know, it. Let us know the part number in the comments. We we'll look them up. That. Oh, I love it. That's my favorite thing. Exactly. We so, love this. Uh, definitely Detective. like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy this kind of videos. And uh, we'll hopefully see you next time on Between Studs. Bye.